in a, <laughs> in a nutshell, could you explain a bit you, um, uh, so should see it. Uh, what is you method? Okay, what is? I know. like to say I kind of rally against the idea that I have a method. So there's only one way to potty train, and that's take off the diapers. Like really, it's the moment you take off the diapers, your child is going to have a reaction, and so that's what everybody fears. The way we teach a child is consistency and repetition. So if you look at like what other methods are, right? I'm gonna take the diaper off. And then the rest of my book is what will happen. What's the best way to do that to get the best reaction from the child? I think of my book mm. more as like the what to expect when expecting of potty training. It's more like these are the yeah. things that are going to happen. These are the potential reactions. Less of I don't have any magical method. You're going to have to take the diaper off. Um, I have a couple of reviews on Amazon that are so hilarious. One woman wrote, don't bother with this book. This is another you're going to have to watch your child methods. Let that sink in. <laughs> she doesn't want to watch her child. She does not want to teach her child. She uh -huh. wants to take the diapers off like I have some magic wand. I do not. Hmm. Um, many people hmm. use rewards. I don't believe in rewarding a two-year-old for socialized normal behavior. Uh, you know, we certainly yeah. can use it as a tool, but to start off with bribery right off the bat, I think is a young age to do that. So it's Repetition and consistency. So you will take off the diaper. I do ask that parents kind of clear their schedule for a week, meaning you should be home for a couple of days. You're going to be teaching your child to pee, you know, wee and poo in the in the potty. They have to they have to practice in a place they're comfortable with, with the person they're most comfortable with. So mm. many, many parents, you know, there's these three day boot camps that I'm horribly against because parents set aside three days, have the expectation this is going to be done, which puts tremendous pressure on the child. And that is the number one killer of potty training. If you mm -hmm. are in your child's face about this, your child's going to say, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you need a bit more than just three days, obviously. But I do remember uh, being given a similar advice for my daughter. And we did that over the Easter bank holiday because mm -hmm. basically we had these five days. And uh, at the time I was working in the nursery, but basically she was coming to my nursery. Yep. So I keep going basically, you know, from the yeah. minute I've decided, I kept going. Yep. And I think that's what you uh, try to encourage parents to really commit, okay? Yeah. And that may be the main issues that we have, you know, we need to fit potty training uh, between a job, other children, school drop off and, you know, it is huge. I'd say that's say. the biggest struggle. I feel like diaper companies definitely mucked up the the process mm -hmm. of potty training. If you Google potty training, the first three pages of Google will be sponsored by big diaper companies, which is like, really? Are they going to give you the best advice? <laughs> um, <laughs> but I, I really do, you know, because of I'm sort of spanning two generations, um, I can really see the difference in, in when I interviewed those hundreds of moms, my mom's age, they stayed home. They stayed home. They didn't yeah. have social media. They didn't mm. have a job. They didn't have an answering machine. You called their landlord, no. and if you weren't home, that's it. Um, so there was so yeah. much less. There was also no market for children. We played in the mud in the backyard, period. There was no gym class, swim class, gymnastics, soccer, um, you know, all the things that we have for kids. There were not even any movies geared towards us. You know, it was like you stayed home and no. you went to bed at 6 30. <laughs> So yeah, well, I, I yeah, I'm 38, and I remember my mom telling we we were going to school in my country. We go to school around half two, yep. so we had to be potty trained before we were going to school. I I'm one of the first generation to have uh, had um, disposable diapers, but my brother not. So for my brother, she didn't want to wash diapers for life, so she wanted him out of the diaper. Yeah, yeah. and uh, same for me and. So basically the summer before we were going to school, if we were 16 months old or two years old or two and a half, we were going to be potty trained. It yes. was the plan, you know, the summer, the door are open, you know, it's easier to manage. Yeah. And that was the yes, idea that you were like, come on the style for, for as long as it takes, but mm -hmm. over the summer and indeed with a mum who was not walking. And that was the way to potty train at the time, you yeah. know, uh, kind of a, as early as possible, but with no, no feeling that there was a specific time. It's just like, you know, there was no point to keep a child that was walking, who was walking in the di diaper, kind and of. And are, are you French? Are you, is your accent French? Uh, yes, I'm from Belgium, so yeah, French okay. speaking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, well, it, it's interesting too, because I say that, you know, 
one of a, a thing in France is that babies sleep through the night at three months. And it is this collective consciousness that babies are capable of sleeping through the night at three months. And they all do it. And so what you're saying is very similar, right? Like if the whole culture is doing it at 16 months, that's what is done. We have mm. because of social media and the way information is passed now, um, and you hear the horror stories, we've we've all taken this life skill that is totally doable between 16 and 24 months, and we've extended it by two, two years sometimes. Um, I was 24 yeah. months when I potty trained and I was so late that my mother was embarrassed to leave the house with me. So, <laughs> I mean, that's just one generation. So I constantly am looking like, why did it change? How did it change? So that's what's interesting mm. to me. And to me, it's, it's the information, it's not only our, our busy lives, but it's the information that is so available to us. You know, if you, if you are set on the fact that your child has to be three and a half to potty train, there is no shortage of finding stories to back that on the internet. There's blogs, there's people who will tell you that there's no point in potty training before three and a half, which I think is ridiculous, but. 